to buy a bag. I love fashion and I thought that I was good at it, but like, am I actually? And I freaking spill my coffee everywhere while I'm on a Zoom. This is a terrible way to start off the vlog because I look a little crazy, but I figured I would start off a new vlog today. It's Thursday and we're going to a fun dinner tonight. So I figured I would just start the vlog here, share some apartment updates and get the weekend vlog going. We'll see, maybe I'll vlog enough that I will have two vlogs that come out of this weekend. But I feel like I've been kind of bad at vlogging lately. What are you doing? Show them your balls. Show them your new balls mommy got you. You're not gonna get in trouble. She's crying because she thinks I'm gonna take these away. Show them. Show them. I got these balls off of Amazon. They were really cheap. I think they're like five bucks for two. And we'll go in the morning to throw the balls around. And the one that we have been throwing around isn't glow in the dark. So I ordered, okay, it's okay. Okay, okay, I, I won't, I won't. Bentley, down. Good. Um, so I ordered these glow in the dark ones and it says that you just have to, I haven't actually used them yet because it's been raining, but it says that you just have to hold them in front of light for five minutes and then they will glow in the dark. So we figured getting a glow in the dark ball would be easier for when we go out in the mornings when it's obviously still dark. So we'll see how they are. I gave them to her last night and she is obsessed. She has been playing with them. She played with them all night last night and then we took them away because she was getting too hyper and it was like 10 o'clock at night and so we I gave them to back to her this morning and she cannot get enough they are like indestructible it seems so far and yeah highly recommend I'll link them in case you have a dog as well <laughs> yeah is that true is that true because you destroy everything she destroys everything she doesn't have many toys that she can't destroy so so I'll link them in case you have a dog as well that destroys everything so yeah anyway it is about is it 7 30 it's a little after 7 30 I'm gonna start getting ready for the day woke up this morning around 6 we took Bentley out I made Mitch and I coffee we sat and drank our coffee and I read my book that I'm reading which I'll explain in a second then we did a meditation he left and I am now gonna start actually getting ready for the day. I have a meeting at nine and I have meetings, pretty heavy meeting day. And I typically like to work from the apartment when I have a heavy meeting day. So I'm gonna get my desk area set up. I'll probably make myself a smoothie and get on with the day. So the book I'm reading is really good so far. This is not the book. I don't, I get these like ads on my Kindle. I think I maybe I bought the Kindle that you get ads, but the book I'm reading is called Open by Andre Agassi. He is a tennis or was a professional tennis player, one of the best. And Mitch had read this book and he was like, you have to read Andre Agassi's book. So that's what I'm reading now. So I'm going to wash my face and stuff and read the book while I'm getting ready. Smoothie is made, coffee is heated up. I'm wearing a comfy outfit today. One, because we're going to a nice dinner tonight and I'm obviously not gonna like dress up all day when I just have a day full of meetings. And then on day fulls of meet days that are full of meetings, I always try and dress really comfy. I typically would wear a pair of jeans, but I am going to go for a walk today. In the middle of the day and I'm gonna do a little Pilates workout so I didn't want to put on jeans when I knew I was gonna be doing that and I don't have that much time to do that so it's gonna be pretty quick so I just wanted to make it as easy as possible so just wearing this black tee from the Gap this is a thrifted uh, cashmere sweater and then 
Viore joggers, just my Ugg slippers, and a pair of comfy socks. So, I have a meeting that's starting in like 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go prep for that, and then I have a bunch of meetings until lunchtime. So, see you later. It's much later, work is over. I am now getting ready because, like I said, we're going to dinner tonight. We're going to a Michelin star. Hey, get not the dog this ball, and she's obsessed with it. But she has been dropping it in the most inconvenient spots. Like, literally today, she dropped the ball. I'm sitting at the counter. I'm on a call. I am in the middle of taking a sip of coffee. She drops the ball underneath my chair where my computer charger is. And I am in the middle of taking a sip of coffee. She goes to get the ball, rips the computer charger out of my computer, and it's like twisted around the side of the computer and it rips the computer and it rips the computer out of my the rips the charger out of my computer and the computer like jolts to the side and I freaking spill my coffee everywhere while I'm on a zoom call so that was like really fun and now I'm like love that I bought her this ball because she is literally obsessed with it and there's nothing better than keeping her occupied but that was embarrassing I feel like I'm getting my period in a week and I feel like I'm having the pre-period uglies where I just feel like I look <laughs> so ugly and I don't know what to do about that. I also feel like I need to get my eyebrows done so that might help but yeah I'm gonna freshen up and I'll thinking I know what I'm gonna wear but we'll pick out an outfit together once I'm done freshening up because as I always do, I procrastinated getting ready and now I need to hurry up and get ready. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Hair and makeup are done. I literally just like kind of did a little refresh of my makeup for the day. I didn't even do anything with my eyes. I just like refreshed my face. I'm getting this pimple right here. And I think, I think I need new blush because I think my blush is causing me to break out because I've been getting breakouts like here and it's literally where I put my blush. So yeah, that's bothering me, but that's okay. I wanna wear this skirt. I thrifted this skirt. When, when, when did I thrift this? I don't know, maybe like a year ago. And I love it so much, so I wanna wear it. Dude, you just made some. But I just need to figure out what top to wear with it and now that I'm thinking out loud, I think I know what I want to do. Need the handy dandy stool. I think black looks good with it. And I have this black sweater that I recently thrifted in my most recent thrifting my Pinterest board that I'm obsessed with. So I'm gonna try that on together and I'll show you how it turns out. Okay, yes, this is for sure what I'm wearing. Thrifted skirt, thrifted sweater, and I love, I'm gonna do some black booties and I'll show you the outfit once it's all tied together, but I actually have to quickly do some dishes that I forgot about and then I'll finish putting the outfit together and show you right before I leave. You want your dinner early? I'm just gonna feed you a little early. Did you get it? Where'd it go? No? Alright, we'll get it in a second. It does smell like dog food after sticking my hand down here. Okay. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food and this water and my mom and dad who love me so much. And thank you for your son, Jesus. Amen. Okay. All right. Finishing touches, deodorant. 
I use the native deodorant, cucumber and mint is the scent I have now. I always mix it up. This one it says whole body. This is new, I think. Um, it says for pits, privates, and more. I've only used it on my underarms, but I really like it. It smells really good. I really like the native deodorant. Um, then lip balm, Laneige, gummy bear. Tastes so good. And then perfume, Santal 33 from Le Labo. This was a birthday present from Mitch to me. And it's my favorite. I think I have a little bit of time. Yeah, I've got like 15 minutes, so I actually have to walk out the door. So I'm gonna get my laptop kind of turned off, all of the stuff put away for my from my work day so that when we come home tonight, electronics aren't sitting all over the counter. Going to dinner with my husband tonight, it's a little date night. We're going to a restaurant called Oxamoco and it is in Greenpoint. It's a Michelin star Mexican restaurant. We're really excited. We've always wanted to go, but I wanted to share my outfit. Almost everything I'm wearing is thrifted, which I love when that happens. I'm wearing this gorgeous sweater paired with the this skirt that's almost like a suede looking material but it's a lot lighter than suede and then shoes are from Zara they're these like kitten heel boots I wear them all the time they're super comfy and then jacket is thrifted bag is thrifted it is not real but I love the shape and the size of this bag for going out so I kept it and that's the outfit bit of a disaster. I feel like I literally have looked like a disaster throughout this entire vlog. But it's Saturday morning. I'm gonna wait until Mitch is with me to do a review of Oksamoko, which is where we went to dinner. And I think that's the last time I actually like physically spoke to the camera. But it is Saturday morning. It's about, it's like 9.45. We got up this morning, took Bentley to play outside. We watched an episode of The Blacklist had our coffee, I made breakfast, I am just finished vacuuming, I made the bed, Mitch is out working, and I am about to do a workout. He woke up before me today and did a workout, got ready, showered, all that kind of stuff, so he's out in a common room working right now, and then 
I'm gonna get my workout in and I said I was probably gonna stay in the apartment because I've got laundry going and I kind of wanted to clean up and organize because I still have some clothes left to organize I've done some organizing as you can see up there but I do have some updates to share with you about the dresser organizing apartment updates things like that but I just wanted to start off the vlog well not start off the vlog pick the vlog back up and actually say hello but I obviously look like a disaster but today the plan is to I'm gonna get my workout in I'm going to probably edit upload a YouTube video work on a few other projects that we have going on and then Mitch is getting a haircut at 1 after his haircut I'm gonna meet him there at the haircut place because then we're going to go to the Upper East Side and go shopping for something really exciting I feel like since I look like this I I'm like I feel like I just look like a disaster and I shouldn't even be talking to the camera this much but I look like this but whatever this is how I look on the weekends but it is what it is this is real life so we are gonna go to the Upper East Side today because I have been saving up and have money to buy a bag I've never bought myself a designer bag and I've been putting this off and putting this off literally Mitch was like when we move we'll go get you a bag like right away because I wanted to go shopping in person and test out a bunch of different bags and really get an idea of what I want because I don't I kind of have an idea but I don't really know and so today is the day where we're starting the journey because I want to go to the row that is like I feel like I'm either gonna buy a row bag or a Bottega bag. Those are the two brands that I really gravitate towards. Actually, I'll show you. This was my first like designer, which Michael Kors is like a designer, obviously. But this was my first bag that I ever bought myself. Um, actually, that's a lie. I do have a different designer bag and I'll show you in a second, but I mean like brand new designer and I feel like again I'm literally I look like a disaster filming this but I feel like that makes it better I don't know because I'm really like not a fancy person I will save money any way that I can but one thing that I do love are purses and bags I appreciate the craftsmanship and I have always been into fashion and brand and not brands bags specifically Bags and um, like dresses are the two things and I don't even wear dresses but I just really appreciate like the craftsmanship of a bag and of dresses and I feel like I like bags because again I feel like I'm a very practical person and you can carry a bag forever it's always going to fit you it's never you're never gonna like lose weight gain weight I don't even know like feet can change too like I've heard that after pregnancy people's feet get grow or whatever they get swollen you get older you can I don't know whatever anyways I think that bags and I could see myself getting into like jewelry too eventually but um, bags are the one thing that I feel like are timeless classic you can always wear them you can pass them down and so this was the very first bag that I ever bought myself and I'm still obsessed with it to this day I got it when I was 18 so it's 11 years old it's in perfect condition it's this Michael Kors bag and I was very specific about buying the black one I almost bought the white one but I wanted the black one um and this is again just like such a classic cute bag and honestly it like kind of resembles the Margot bag a little bit from the row which is actually funny but I've again had this since I was 18 I bought it for myself in New York when we came because instead of a graduation party I asked my parents if we could spend the money to come to New York City instead of paying for a graduation party because the one thing that I needed for college was a laptop and my parents had bought me a laptop my sophomore year of high school so I saved all of my babysitting money this bag was like $200 and I saved all of it and I'm still obsessed with it to this day it's because I picked out a classic bag that I knew I was gonna have forever and I do keep it in the dust bag I keep it I keep all my stuff like in perfect condition but then this was the first designer piece that I bought myself 
that was a bag i bought myself a bottega wallet that's that was new but this bag is used and it is gorgeous it's also a black bag it is a gucci um like hobo type bag it's got this really thin strap that i actually need to take to a cobbler because it's broken i got this on the real real it was 300 dollars, and it's the first like designer bag that i ever bought myself i bought this last year and again obsessed with it it's so cute it's so classic um and i love it but i have never bought myself like a brand new designer bag so i've been saving up to buy that and I'm, I like don't really know what I want. I kind of want a crossbody because like obviously these bags are bigger and they're great, but I don't have something that I can do as like an everyday smaller bag. So that's what I'm on the hunt for. I'm thinking maybe something from the row, something from Bottega. I'm also thinking maybe doing brown instead of black because I always have black, but I feel like black matches everything. So that's why I kind of like need to go to the stores and see, but... I will take you along, show you what I'm thinking, walk you through the process. I'm not going to buy something today. I'll be very surprised if I buy something today because the row is on the Upper East Side, but Bottega is in Fidei or Soho. So I want to wait until I, I go to Bottega to like make a decision. So I'm probably going to make a decision within the next like month, I would say, just depending on our schedule and when we can go shopping. But this is a very long-winded clip. It's like eight minutes so far, but I felt like I wanted to share that and like be very transparent like we've been I've been saving up money for a long time so in an effort to be as transparent as possible I just wanted to say that I feel so lucky that I'm even able to like go shopping for for a nice designer bag so yeah that's that's what's going on today so I'm very excited for later today and then we're going to go to the Guggenheim while we're up there and um so Mondays and Saturdays from 4 to 5 30 it's pay what you want so we're going to go to the Guggenheim which we love going to museums I've never been to the Guggenheim so I'm very excited and yeah that's what we're up to today so super excited I'll take you along with us but the first things first is I'm gonna get in a workout and I haven't used my Peloton yet I'm gonna use it today I'm literally trying to set it up right now so I'm super excited I literally haven't ridden the Peloton since last year so we're going to get her connected and i'm gonna go grab my phone so hopefully the wi-fi is easy that's what's going on today i'm gonna do a 30 minute intervals and arms ride with cody cody is my favorite i adore him love his ride so we're gonna give this one a go first peloton ride of the year could be posted on how it goes Come on, start. There we go. Let's go. How we do it today? Yes, 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 yes. My name's Cody Rigsby. Workout is done. That workout was so good. I'll link my Peloton name below. It's I'm Kate 11, K A I T. If you do Peloton and want to connect and share workouts and stuff. Um, I am so sweaty. I need to hop in the shower, but always fun to just share workouts and all that kind of stuff. I just joined this like boot camp program that I saw on the Peloton app. I love exploring the Peloton app like after my workouts and seeing like what challenges they have, what types of workouts, boot camps, that kind of stuff. So I joined it and I started it today, which I shouldn't have done. I should start it tomorrow, but it's called Discovering Your Power and it's like a five week program. Um, and they give you the rides that you're supposed to do. So I'm going to start that tomorrow and I'll just do it six days in a row because they give you seven days to do five rides. So it'll get me back into riding the Peloton and no excuses. The ride tomorrow is only 15 minutes. Like I can do it. And then I'm gonna, I'll probably do like a lift or a Pilates or something. So yeah, join me on Peloton if you want some motivation and we can motivate each other because I know I need it. I'm going to hop in the shower. Get your ball. Go get it. Get it. Not interested? Okay, so I'm picking out outfits, or I'm picking out an outfit to wear. Mitch came back, we ate a quick lunch, I got ready. He's getting a haircut and I'm gonna meet him there when he's done. And I'm trying to figure out what I wanna wear. So underneath here, 
I have on a bodysuit with the, some baggy jeans and just like a black belt. And so I thought this fur coat would look super cute. It's like 50 degrees outside, so it's not super hot. Or it's not like warm, but it's not super cold. So I thought that this might be good to try and get some more wear out of it before the season for this is over. And then I was just going to do my it's like Adidas shoes but I feel like what I'm I feel like I've been struggling so much with my style since I moved here because I feel like a lot of my stuff doesn't fit me perfectly and I I think I used to love like the oversized baggy look and everything that I owned was baggy and I really didn't care if it was like fit me perfectly but now that I'm living here and I'm like surrounded by people who are extremely fashionable I'm honestly having some like doubts on like I love fashion and I thought that I was good at it but like am I actually so I don't know just like kind of what's going through my mind but I thought this would be cute for walking around and then I have two options for some sunglasses here is the first option which honestly I think is the one that I'm gonna go with like as soon as I saw these I was like oh yeah forgot that I had those. These very much look like the Celine glasses that are stylish right now and they are from like 2017 Amazon or H&M or something like that. I've literally had them forever but I feel like they're kind of a classic so here's those and then I have these ones which I also love. These are from a thrift store and I just feel like it's cloudy outside, so these are a little dark. And they just look a little more sporty than the goes with the coat. So I think I'm going to go with the other ones. And then I'll put on my green Adidas, and we'll do this look for today. Been a f it's been like a week actually since I last vlogged for this vlog and I even have started a new vlog since then and everything but I realized that after we went shopping I never came back on here to explain like how the shopping went and everything so we ended up going I wanted we went to the Upper East Side so that I could go to the row but we went to go walk in and they were like it's gonna be about a 30 minute wait and honestly like just didn't feel like waiting and I saw Bergdorf's on the corner and I was like let's go into Bergdorf's I might be able to just go in and get an idea of all of the different types of bags and then I can decide kind of like what stores I actually want to go into so that ended up working great so if you are looking to buy a bag or want to go even test bags out and then shop them secondhand or whatever highly recommend just going into like a Bergdorf's or something and testing out the bags because each little stand like they kind of had an inlet for each brand and then there was an open space that had like just different stands for some of the other brands so for example like the row had a little inlet that you kind of walked in that had some bags there same with Bottega but then YSL just had like a um almost looked like a perfume stand with like bags inside and then bags like standing or um, sitting on shelves and stuff. So checked out the row, YSL. I looked at and Bottega and I looked at like some other ones but those were like the really main ones that I wanted to look at. Bottega was my favorite. I already knew that every single time there's a Bottega store I always go into it. I actually love going into Bottega. I've been in a ton of different 
cities and every single time the people there are just like really really nice and not judgy whatsoever they let you touch everything let you pick things up try things on so i always like going in there it's just always fun and then the row loved the bags i was actually really pleasantly surprised with how much i liked them they the problem was that they only had a lot of suede at the at the kiosk store thing like the bergdorf's display and i really wanted something that was leather not suede like like hard leather not a suede material so yeah but i did really like the rose bag ysl i knew i kind of knew what to expect really lo loved the ysl actually like the leather was a lot softer than i was thinking the bag was actually really really big but that was kind of the problem was the bag was a little big but i kept i thought about it for like a week kept thinking about it kept thinking about it ultimately picked one which i have already bought i have in my possession and i even vlogged my reaction to opening it unboxing it that kind of thing which will be in the next vlog so i'm not going to share yet i'll share in our in my next vlog what bag i ended up getting but i will link the bags that i was looking at below they'll have the price points and everything so you can kind of get an idea but yeah so made my decision now i'm gonna start saving up for the next one because now i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> i'm obsessed i just want all of them but obviously that's not reasonable or possible so yeah anyway just wanted to come on here wrap up the vlog i did start a new one so i just wanted to finish that out with the story of shopping i didn't vlog like in there at all because i just felt like weird vlogging and picking up my camera and like filming the different me trying on bags it just felt yucky so i didn't do that but i did take pictures of them because i also wanted pictures for me to look back at when i was trying to make my decision so anyway that's that so i'm gonna end off the vlog here thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one